What is vapor? What's the difference between smoke and vapor? And why is inhaling vapor considered much less dangerous than inhaling smoke? Let's look at the semantics. Science describes smoke as a visible suspension of particles in air emitted from a burning substance, whereas vapor is described as a substance suspended or diffused in air. And while these two statements sound very similar, the key here is the word burning, which implies some kind of combustion. For a suspension of particles to be considered as smoke, it has to originate from a combustible substance. A smoking cigarette is undergoing a state of incomplete combustion. The tip of a cigarette can burn at 700 degrees Celsius, but there's still not enough oxygen there for it to sustain a flame, which is why when you pull on a cigarette, it gets hotter, it burns fiercer for a moment, you're feeding it with more oxygen by pulling on it. The same thing happens with a burnt out campfire. Once the flames go out, it starts producing more smoke because it's uh, in a state of incomplete combustion because there's not enough fuel. Almost anything can be combustible under the right circumstances, such as air pressure or the amount of oxygen in the air. But let's just consider natural environments on Earth for the moment. So how is vapor different? Well, first of all, vapor can be produced without the presence of combustion. Some substances give off a vapor at room temperature especially solvents and hydrocarbons like gasoline or chloroform. This is because these substances have a low boiling point. On a molecular level, they're breaking down and evaporating. In the case of e-juice, the boiling point is much higher, which means that it needs a higher temperature to evaporate. And that's where the coil comes in. However, it's important to note that a coil does not burn or combust the juice. According to reports, an e-cigarette coil will rarely reach temperatures above 300 degrees Celsius. This is fundamental when considering the potential harmful effects of smoking and vaping. Combustion creates compounds. It's an exothermic reaction between chemicals present in the materials, including the fuel and the air around it, which combine on a molecular level at high temperatures to create chemical compounds which were not originally in the material that was being burnt. By burning something, we're invoking it to change composition, and the smoke that is given off can be a cocktail of harmful chemicals, especially in the case of a burning cigarette. Burning something creates new chemical compounds. But by heating a liquid that we already know to contain only hydrogen and oxygen atoms, and that goes for PG and VG, there's little danger of any dangerous chemical compounds being created, even if it was burned at 700 degrees. However, not much is yet known about the chemical composition of the plethora of flavor concentrates uh, that you'll find in e-juices. And that really is the only legitimate reason for considering e-juice vapor to be potentially harmful. And although studies have been done into some of the flavorings that are used, like acetylpyrazine, most of these studies were, con were conducted with a view to using them as ingredients in baking, not necessarily superheating them. Although I might be wrong. So although we can be scientifically confident that both PG and VG vapor is much less harmful than smoke, we can be less confident about the flavorings and flavor additives that are used in these e-juices. And this can be supported by any vapist who's ever found a buildup of gunk on their coils. The gunk that you find on your coils is different every time depending on what e-juice you use, and it's caused by the carbonization of molecules that are found in the flavorings. Some of these carbonized molecules can combust and will create chemical compounds that weren't present in the e-juice. So using a gunked up coil may well be harmful, depending on what juices have carbonized on it, but we just don't know which ones are harmful. So just because it's not smoke doesn't make it harmless. And just because you know what flavorings have gone into it doesn't know what chemicals were used in the production of those flavorings. So if I was to offer any advice, I would say keep your coils clean, keep your wicks fresh and vape on. So if you enjoyed the video, like, share and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.